Hi everybody, it's Joe Chaffee on this Sunday evening. So let's take a look at what's going on this evening. We have the strong upper air low that's sitting here over the East Coast and you can see what's happening with regards to showers today. They have moved away from coastal areas of southern New England, northern New Jersey and Long Island and instead they've been enhanced quite a bit on the western side of where the upper air low system is and we're getting some showers and some heavier downpours right along the Pennsylvania Maryland border uh, extending into parts of southeastern and eastern Pennsylvania and you can also see the rotation here these showers here to the west are moving in a northeast southwest direction and uh, counterclockwise around the upper low and then they turn uh, eastward across uh, the Maryland eastern shore and the Delmarva Peninsula and then move northeast out over the ocean so this upper low is just kind of sitting here waiting for something to kick it out and it's not going to get that little kicker for another a day or two and in fact you know, we're going to see low pressure develop uh, off the Virginia North Carolina coast during the day on Monday and that's going to enhance an area of rain for coastal areas and bring that up uh, into Long Island and northern parts of uh, New Jersey actually probably just enhance it over almost all of New Jersey back through eastern Pennsylvania Notice uh, that down throughout much of uh, the Mid-Atlantic, we have some isolated thunderstorms here, but nothing severe is developed, and there's almost no weather at all with the stable dry air that's uh, moving down over uh, South Carolina and Georgia. And what I mean by stable dry weather, uh, just uh, by no weather, is the fact that uh, we don't have any significant shower or thunderstorm activity in that area to worry about. So let's take a look at what the models are doing and we're going to switch over to the GFS here and I'm going to uh, take a look first at the dynamics aloft and, and you can see the upper low uh, forecast this evening to large this large upper air system that's sitting uh, probably centered somewhere right there in Virginia and the rotation the the counterclockwise circulation around it so it's no surprise that the showers are moving in this direction like this around that upper low and as we move it along, that upper low actually drops southward into the North Carolina coast and then lifts north northeastward up the coast by Tuesday morning. And then finally, it gets out of the way. And it's replaced uh, gradually by a strong ridge of high pressure that builds aloft uh, into the east. I'm going to back up one run of the GFS because this way we can go out further. Uh, the new run is coming in now. And you can see that ridge just takes over uh, in the eastern states right into the weekend now one of the things that happens when you have, have a strong ridge like this is that underneath it you have a tendency for a little bit of cyclonic rotation so there's a bit of an upper low that is sitting off the Florida coast here during the Memorial Day holiday weekend and I'll show you what how the model resolves this uh, it does develop a low there and I suppose if we were deeper into the month of June uh, we would have to uh, include the possibility that there could be some sort of tropical uh, system that comes out of this. I can't completely rule that out. Uh, the end of May, water down there is relatively warm. So I, it's not impossible, but it's one of these things where you, you, you're just really kind of broadly speculating. The model's been doing that for a few days, and I'll just back it up a little bit, and you can watch how it plays out at the surface. And here's that surface low that develops for Monday night into Tuesday and just enhances rain right along the coast during Monday night into Tuesday morning until the low and the upper low pull out and then after that we just kind of dry out a bit some showers are indicated with a weak disturbance uh, along about Friday I don't know how real that is but you can also begin to see what happens down off the uh, southeast coast and east of the Bahamas is a little low develops there and kind of spins away and takes its time because of that little cyclone that develops south of the uh, underneath the ridge so this is something we'll just kind of pay attention to, have it in our, the back of our minds. Again, I don't know how real this is because now we're into the middle part of next week. So who knows if this is going to happen like this or not. Uh, there were some indications a few days ago that this would be further west uh, into the Gulf of Mexico. But, you know, this is so we're getting to that time of year where it becomes a little more difficult to figure these things out. So we're just going to continue uh, to see how it all plays um, over the next several days. I don't think the rainfall will be especially heavy. There could be some heavier downpours with what's falling uh, in the uh, area in the northeast right now. We'll go back to that and you can take a look and I'll show you 
I'll just move the screen over so you can see it a little better again. Let's get that over there. There we go. And you can see how that rotation there. What usually happens with these things, by the way, is they tend to, the showers tend to diminish some during the nighttime hours and flare up again during the daytime. So they're, they are benefiting right now from some daytime heating that's occurring here. And they'll probably uh, start to diminish uh, as we uh, pass sunset and head into the overnight hours. So uh, enjoy your new week ahead as uh, we head toward the first summer weekend, quote unquote, of all the summer weekends, Memorial Day holiday weekend is usually the one that's a little more problematic than the others because of the time of year. We're still in late May, and silly things can happen with cool air and onshore flow. Uh, that's going to impact temperatures. Oh, and by the way, that is another thing we should take a look at um, with regards to temperatures. Um, it does warm it up as we go through the weekend, especially in areas to the south. So you can notice as we move through, I mean, this is on Friday where it has middle 90s. GFS has middle 90s into interior Virginia and 80s up into southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, this area up in northern New Jersey, Long Island, and southern New England is being impacted by a bit of an onshore wind to hold temperatures down. And here we go now for Saturday. It's a little cooler. Uh, 80s get suppressed a little further south. And then as we move into Sunday and Monday, starts to warm up a little bit where we've got some 70s and 80s. Uh, again, this is all going to play on how much of an onshore flow are we going to have, depending on how this next high moves out. And uh, even if it's an onshore flow, I don't anticipate it being an onshore flow that's accompanied by a lot of clouds. In fact, you'll notice uh, in interior New England on Memorial Day, it gets well up into the 80s to around 90, but it's cooler to the south because the highest to the north. So you get that wind off the water uh, from southern New England southward, and you get a land-based wind across interior and northern New England. So we'll uh, figure all this out as we move through the week ahead. And uh, don't forget uh, to uh, check on all the latest in terms of severe weather uh, with uh, SNS storm chasers. Uh, when uh, severe weather flies, those are the guys you want to follow.